Hey guys, in today's video, I will be reviewing the top 8 best spinning rods. I made this list based on my personal experience, and I try to rank them based on their quality, durability, customer reviews, and more. If you want to know about the best pricing and more information, you can check the description links below. Number 8 in my list is Casking Blackhawk 2 Spinning Rod. The collapsible Casking Blackhawk U telescoping is our pick for traveling fishers. Because it telescopes down from its max rod length, you can easily fit this rod into a backpack or carry-on bag. The best part of this system is that the lines and guides stay secured to the rod even in travel form, meaning you don't have to restring the rod every time you open it back up. The graphite main body, along with the solid glass tip, makes for a hardy system that doesn't skimp on sensitivity. With 14 different variations, this rod has a higher than average amount of variability and gives anglers more options to choose from. That said, given the number of segments in the Blackhawk, it just doesn't have the strength of a higher quality, single piece system like the Victory. Still, this trade off for travel makes sense. Number 7 in my list is Ugly Stick GX2 Spinning Rod. The Ugly Stick GX2 Spinning Rod is a robust and versatile choice for anglers seeking reliability and performance. Crafted with a blend of graphite and fiberglass, the GX2 combines strength with sensitivity, making it ideal for various fishing conditions. Its ugly tech construction ensures a lightweight feel while maintaining durability for those tough catches. The rod features a comfortable EVA foam handle that provides a secure and ergonomic grip, enhancing your fishing experience. The stainless steel guides with zirconium inserts minimize friction, allowing for smooth and accurate casts. Designed for both freshwater and light saltwater fishing, the Ugly Stick GX2 is built to withstand the rigors of frequent use. With its classic Ugly Stick toughness and affordable price, this rod is perfect for anglers of all skill levels, offering exceptional value and performance on every outing. Number 6 in my list is Ugly Stick Elite Spinning Rod. The Ugly Stick Elite Spinning Rod stands out for its durability and performance, making it a favorite among anglers. Engineered with a blend of graphite and fiberglass, this rod delivers a lightweight feel without compromising strength. Its ugly tech construction enhances sensitivity and resilience, ensuring you can detect even the slightest bite. The rod features a comfortable cork handle for a secure grip, and its clear tip design provides added strength and sensitivity. Stainless steel guides with zirconium inserts reduce friction and enhance casting distance. Ideal for both freshwater and light saltwater fishing, the Ugly Stick Elite is versatile and reliable. Whether you're a seasoned angler or a beginner, this rod offers exceptional value and performance, ensuring countless successful fishing trips. With its iconic design and dependable construction, the Ugly Stick Elite continues to be a top choice for anglers everywhere. Number 5 in my list is ST, Croyd Legend Glass Spinning Rod. Whether you're throwing a shad wrap, a small balsa square bill, or some other diminutive crankbait, it's easy to overpower them with bait casting gear. This rod, with its fiberglass construction, creates no such disadvantages. Fish that surge at boat side or slash at a lure at the last minute won't get off. Furthermore, the legend glass casts those smaller baits long distances, yet at the same time is short enough to make pinpoint casts in close quarters. For those who find the 6 foot 10 inch length too short, there's a 7 foot 2 inch version that's slightly heavier but handles a vast range of moving baits. The cork grips are super comfortable to fish all day, and the tangle free guides allow for either fluorocarbon or a braid to fluoro combination that flows freely. Korig Rod's Legend Glass Spinning Rod. Number 4 in my list is Megabast Valkyrie Spining Rod. Usually, travel spinning rods provide light to medium actions and low-level components. Megabass flipped that paradigm with the Valkyrie World Expedition rods. There are two spinning rods, a 6-foot 10-inch, Medfast, and a 7-foot 6-inch, Medfast. The model I recommend is the heavier and longer of the two. It can flip heavy weights or cast big swim baits. It's made with artistic and functional touches native to the Japanese market. Thanks to a custom molded reel seat, superior foam split grip handle, and bespoke guides, it doesn't feel like a typical four-piece rod. 
In fact, it's so smooth and refined that you'll probably use it at home too, even though it packs up easily into the provided case. Number three in my list is Shimeno Curato 70 Spining Rod. Every time I get in one of the Bassmaster Elite Series Pro's boats in a clear water situation, and especially in smallmouth country, they seem to have a small jig head with a key tech or rage swimmer on the back. It's a limit getting technique that also produced my personal best smallmouth last fall while fishing in Michigan with Shimano Pro Keith Combs. The 7 foot, medium power, Curato is perfect for that technique. This rod gives you the ability to make long casts with light lures in windy conditions, but also just enough give so the bass can swallow the lure. That's when the fun begins, as an airborne smallmouth can easily disgorge that hook, and this rod seems to keep them pegged. The specific form of EVA they use took some getting used to, but their proprietary reel seat is comfortable to fish all day. Number two in my list is Dobin's Champion XP Spining Rod. Rod maker Gary Dobins may have left the spinning rod Nirvana of California for the Bubba country of Texas, but he's true to his roots with the Champion XP Spinning Rod, a fast-action, cork handle rod. Even if a shaky head is your last resort, it's necessary to have one in your panic box. And as Vandem found out at Louisville, it doesn't discriminate against big fish. The West was the breeding ground not only for the hula grub, but also for darter heads and other fresh from Japan techniques, and the exceptional balance makes it feel lighter than its actual weight. Number one in my list is ST, Kroig Spining Rod. Despite having similar lure weight recommendations as many of the other rods I tested, the Street Kroig Victory seemed noticeably bulkier, so to be honest, I didn't expect much. That's why I was so surprised at how light it felt, demonstrating the importance of balance over just absolute weight. Everything about it is refined and purpose-driven, from the comfortable reel seat and handle components to the premium cork itself. I even liked the fact that it was neither 7 feet nor 7 foot 6 inches, but rather smack dab in the mill. If you're only going to own one spinning rod, a reality that I caution against, but nevertheless know is quite possible. This USA-made option is a great choice, capable of doing a lot of different things extremely well. I'd highly recommend it if you want to buy one really nice spinning rod or are limited to how many rods you can carry, like kayak anglers. Beyond being a do-all rod, the Victory is fantastic at my primary uses for a spinning rod, light plastic and finesse swim baits. Furthermore, it comes at a mid-range price for a top-of-the-line product meaning that you get a lot of bang for your buck. All right, guys, this was our today's video. If you find this video helpful for you, then like the video. And if you come to our channel first time, then hit the subscribe button for our amazing upcoming videos. Be sure to the check out the links in the description for the updated price of all products discussed in this video. Hope you have a great day and see you soon in the next video.